Welcome to Sorbs' classes. This is Ashmata. In today's class, we are going to solve uh, five to six questions based on IIT JAM geology question paper for this year. Now, people who have given uh, this examination might find it that the question numbers are not matching because I have some other set and you might have got some other set. So, uh, the question numbers might differ, but the questions are same. Uh, if you want to have more detailed discussion, then you can join our classes. Just go off to the description box and there you will get all the details regarding our classes for any kind of uh, course preparation or any kind of uh, cloud clearing sessions, uh, problem solving sessions, mock tests and any kind of uh, help that you require, you can get over here. Let's come back to solving the questions. Question number 29, I'm focusing first. Which one of the following statements about the hydrological cycle is correct? Let's get to see the options. Option A says groundwater represents the largest share of fresh water on the earth. Uh, next we have precipitation rate greater than in uh, precipitation rate is greater than infiltration rate. And this is a necessary condition to generate the surface runoff. Okay, so uh, till now this one is correct but we have to see the, all the other options also if we can find anything other correct any other point to be correct all precipitation falling on the land finally ends up as groundwater no this is not correct uh, last one groundwater flows in curved and concave upward path uh, no this one is also not correct let's go with option b that is pre precipitation rate is greater than infiltration rate Let's move over to the next question that we have uh, with us. That is, which one of the following mineral deposits is not related to the mining or energy production? We have uh, Narwa Pahar, Rampura Agucha, then we have Jaduguda, we have Turamde. Uh, now your correct answer would be Rampura Agucha. Okay, this is one of those. Uh, mineral deposits where, uh, it, where it is not related to mining for energy production. So this is the place, um, the, the, this is the mineral, mineral deposit. And uh, talking about the other options, because uh, I will be focusing on detailed discussion, Narva Bahar is a uranium deposit. Okay, It's a uranium deposit. And uh, this uranium deposit is primarily used for nuclear energy production. Okay. Uh, talking about B, B is not related to all these energy production thing. C, Jaduguda. Jaduguda is also a uranium deposit, uh, deposit which is used for nuclear energy production. So Jaduguda and Narva Pahar uh, both are same. Uh, next, we have the Turamdi. Turamdi is a uranium deposit just like the previous ones. Uh, and it is absolutely similar to Narva Pahar and Jaduguda. Okay. So, we have the only odd one out. That's B. Let's move over to the next question. We are starting off with section B where you have two marks for each answer. The question says, at which of the following locations do lignite deposits occur in India? We have the options like Rani Ganj, Singroli, Barmer, and Neveli. Your correct option would be Neveli. Okay. Lignite deposits in India are found in several locations that you all have knowledge about. Uh, like you will get these lignite uh, deposits in Rajasthan. And then you will have these in Tamil Nadu. Then you will have this in Gujarat. And also you will find bits of it in Jammu and Kashmir. However, uh, out of all the given options, uh, Neveli is in Tamil Nadu. And this is the only location where lignite deposits occur among the options that, uh, that are given over here. The Neveli Lignite uh, Corporation, that is in short form, we call it the NLC, Neveli Lignite Corporation. It's a public sector undertaking that operates the lignite mine, mines in Navy. Okay, it's a public sector undertaking. Okay, that was the uh, uh, answer. 
Let's move on to the next question. We have which of the following types of dunes? Dunes forms primarily by unidirectional wind. Your answer would be Barchan dunes. Now, Barchan dunes are crescent shaped dunes, okay? Kind of crescent shaped, like the moon you have seen, those are like kind of crescent shaped dunes that form when the wind blows predominantly from one direction, okay? Crescent shaped dunes. The horns of the, like the horns of the crescent point uh, uh, downward and like this. The horns of the crescent point downward. Horns, these are, can be considered as horns. Horns of the crescent point downwards and uh, the dune moves in the direction of the horns like this. Okay, uh, Like the way I have shown it over here, towards the horns it will move. The other types of dunes that are mentioned over here, all these dunes are... Uh, Unid are uh, also formed by the unidirectional wind, just like the option that is correct for us. Uh, they also move by unidirectional wind, but their formation is not primarily dependent on it. Okay, it can be formed in some other uh, because of some other reasons also. Now, linear dunes. Let's talk about linear dunes now. Linear dunes are um, normally formed in areas where wind direction varies where wind direction varies, uh, but is generally parallel to uh, a linear topographic feature. Okay, like just uh, as we can see in a valley, example valley. Let's talk about parabolic dunes. Parabolic dunes are U-shaped dunes. Okay, so definitely it's differing from Barchan dunes. It is a U-shaped dune and it is formed in area where there is sparse vegetation means not much vegetation or green cover is there. In those type of places, uh, you get to see this, these type of dunes, sparse vegetation places, where the wind uh, direction is relatively constant, okay? It's not very high also, it's not very low also, but it's constant. And star dunes, the last option that we need to discuss, star dunes are pyramidal in form, okay? And uh, it, may, it forms in areas where the wind direction varies, all right? So that was the discussion over here. Let's move over to the next uh, question. It says the, the altitude of a fault plane, it would be, was measured to be 350 degrees, 75 degree east. The rake of the slicken line on the fault plane was found to be 90 degree. Which of the faults listed below satisfies these observations? Your answer would be strike slip fault, okay? Now, the observations suggest that the fault plane has a dip of uh, uh, 75 degree, right, to the east, which is measured from horizontal and a rake of 90 degrees is also there. Okay, so 90 degree means uh, it's kind of per perpendicular to the strike of the fault plane. And this implies that the fault is a strike-slip fault, okay, the one that we have chosen as our correct answer, strike-slip fault. Therefore, we are going with this option only. Let's move over to the next question. We have what types of fossil remains is or are studied in ichnology. Now, in ichnology, we normally study about tracks and trails. Okay. Um, now, burrows and... Uh, Okay, let's talk about ichnology a bit. Ichnology is the study of trace uh, fossils, which includes like uh, trace tra uh, trails also. Um, okay, you can include burrows also. Okay, uh, I would suggest that you can include both the points over here because both are included in the study of ichnology. So, uh, it includes the tracks, the trails, the burrows and also other structures which are created by organisms in sediments or in rocks. Okay, so the study of spores and uh, um, pollens is not included over here. That is uh, the second option I'm talking about, spores and pollens. It's not included in ichnology. Why? Because their study is known as palynology. Okay, so their study is known as palynology. While the study of uh, fishes and amphibians um, is done under vertebrate, vertebrate paleontology, paleontology, 
okay so this is why we are considering option c and option d as a part of etnology okay let's solve the last question for today's class that's question 35 which of the following combinations of basin and formation is or are correct we have uh, option a as kaveri basin and niniyur formation assam basin and tipam formation bengal basin jalangi formation kach basin dhok pathan uh, formation now the correct formation uh, for the kach basin kach basin the correct formation would be um, Uh, would be uh, Jaisalmer formation, okay? But over here it's given Dhok Patan formation. No, this is not correct. Okay, uh, the other options are correct. So they have asked which of the following combinations of basin is or are correct. So go with A, B, and C. Kach basin will not be correct as it will be relating to Jaisalmer formation, not not Dhok Patan uh, Patan formation. Okay, so only this one is incorrect. Uh, the others are correct. Okay, A, B, and C are the correct options. All right, so I'm going to end the class over here. If you want to join our classes, you can definitely go over to the description box for all the uh, course related details. What you want to prepare for, we uh, help. our teachers over here help uh, for all the course preparations so um, if you want to give mock test if you want to practice with us if you want to have doubt clearing sessions you can join our classes thank you for watching